Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Friday, January 29th, 2015. I'm working from home today, so I thought I would do a stationary episode from the uh, recording studio. So that's where I am uh, coming from. Um, Sierra is still missing. I don't think I mentioned it last week, uh, yesterday, but uh, yesterday was two weeks that she's been missing. So uh, yeah, they're still getting a lot of a lot of notice. The uh, guardian angels are now helping to pass out flyers, and there are um, more and more news outlets that are carrying the story. So hopefully they can find something soon uh, about her. You know, I thought I'd talk about today, you know, there are a lot of places where we get, you know, rules to live by. You know, there are you know, the Jewish rules to live by, which and the broad strokes are just the Ten Commandments. Uh, the uh, Christians have, in essence, love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind and your neighbor as yourself, which is really, when you think about it, uh, boils down to just a summarized version of the Ten Commandments, which makes sense because that's the basis from which Christianity springs. Other people like to make up their own uh, because they don't want to believe in a higher power or they just want to walk their own path or whatever. But I came across a set of a set of um, guidelines, I guess I'll say, that I thought that, you know, everybody, if everybody followed these, it would be a much different world. They don't conflict with, you know, religious beliefs. I don't. I don't think, uh, and I don't think there's anything in this list that anybody's going to have problems with. It comes from Gene Autry. It's called the Cowboy Code. This was actually in my management textbook, and I thought it was kind of cool, so I copied the page off. And or no, I'm reading from the textbook. Uh, but anyway, from the textbook, uh, they do say that there are some variations in wording in, because it's been in, um, published in multiple sources. So I'm just reading what the textbook has. So let's talk about this. Cowboy, you know, so, so I think this applies to both sexes, cowboys, cowgirls, you know, whatever you might be or think yourself to be. I, I don't think this is anything that is gender specific. I think this is human specific. So if you are human and breathing, I I think these apply to you. Now, zombies and vampires, maybe you have an out if you are legitimate, if you are legitimately one of those. So uh, there's 10 of these. Let's, Let's kind of go through these. Number one, a cowboy never takes unfair advantage, even of an enemy. That's kind of a hard one. Number two, a cowboy never goes back on his word or betrays a trust. That's very important. Number three, a cowboy always tells the truth. Number four, a cowboy is kind and gentle with children, the elderly, and animals. Number five, A cowboy is free from racial or religious prejudice. That's a tough one in today's society. When we like to point fingers at the Christians, or we like to point fingers at the Muslims, and we like to point fingers at people that aren't even Muslims, but they wear a turban or something, so we assume they're Muslims and call them that. You know, so that's a tough one in our day and age. Um... And the racial thing, too. You know, it's still something that we're fighting in this country. Uh, I'm assuming other countries are as well. I mean, we're not where we need to be. Better than we used to be, not where we need to be. A cowboy is always helpful. This is number six. And lends a hand when anyone is in trouble. 
You know, that's 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 kind of important. I, I got to say that there's probably been times I've not followed that one myself. You know, I don't necessarily stop and help somebody that's, you know, pulled off the side of the road with car trouble. You know, to me, that's kind of a protect yourself thing. But, you know, if we were all following the cowboy code, I could. Maybe. A cowboy is a good worker. That's number seven. Number eight, a cowboy stays clean in thought, speech, action, and personal habits. Number nine. Um, number nine, I'm going to, I'll read it as it's written here, and then I'm going to modify it. Number nine, a cowboy respects womanhood, parents, and the laws of his nation. And since we're saying this applies to not just cowboys, but cowgirls as well, I think it's just that a cowboy slash girl respects personhood, everybody. You know, that we aren't putting people down because they're different than us and might be a minority. I think that's kind of what he's getting at, you know, um, there. You know, women should respect men, men should respect women. You know, we just all should be respecting everybody. We should respect our parents. We should respect the laws of the nation, the laws of the state and the city that we live in. I think that's kind of uh, kind of important to, you know, having a strong society. If we don't respect the laws, then we're not going to go very far much further. Uh, and then lastly, number 10, a cowboy is a patriot to his country. So I just thought those were some good rules to live by. So, you know, if you're not of a religious bent, um, you know, maybe live by the cowboy code. You know, I think for the majority of these things that, you know, they don't conflict, they don't conflict with the Ten Commandments. You know, they don't, I don't think, you know, most of these are love your neighbor as yourself. You know, so, you know, these are just kind of a different way of saying it, but obviously pulled out, out of, outside of a religious context. So I just thought that was kind of cool. Thought I'd share it with you. So there you go. But, uh, yeah, I guess that'll be that for today. Tomorrow, I'll plan on doing a podcast. I might be going somewhere. Haven't decided. But at any rate, I will plan on talking to you then. So, be seeing you.